Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I am Angie Kent. This is Two Girls, One Pod, and I'm filming it, recording it in Gadigal Land. And I, Where are you, girl? I'm down here in Wurundjeri country. You know what's it. What's your name? My name's Evie Jones. Always has been, always will be. Well, that's a lie. But anyway, we won't go into that. That's rude, isn't it? Well, that, it, it is a lie. You literally told us last episode that you changed your name, so it hasn't always I was. Don't know. Always. I don't know what you're talking about. You are going <laughs> crazy. You know, oh, you are. I know what you're doing. You I know Do you what see you're what I'm doing. doing? Do you see what I'm doing or do you really see what I'm doing? Because I don't think you do. I actually don't think you're smart enough to see what I'm doing. That's your problem. Oh, my God. No, but I I am smart enough. Imagine if someone spoke to you like that all the time. We have been binge watching a TV show that we said we were going to watch a couple of episodes ago and we said to everyone, if you haven't watched it, watch it because it's brilliant. I I begged Angie. I said, you've got to watch this show. I promise you, you will like it. It's called Bad oh. Sisters. And can I get a little bit of a review from you as far as did you like it? Was it worth it? And what would you give it out of five? Oh, my God. I freaking loved it. Should we give it a li- the little blurb mm. about it before we start talking about it? Um, there's one here. Maybe that'll be quicker and straight to the point. So, um, Bad Sisters is set in Ireland and follows the lives of the five Garvey sisters, Eva, Grace, Ursula, Bibi and Becca. The sisters are all very close and fiercely protective of each other, which becomes very apparent when four of them plot to kill Grace's abusive husband, JP, a.k.a. The The Prick. prick. So in the first episode, it does open with JP, who was already dead. Yeah. So when we talk about him already dead, we're not no, ruining anything. Ruin nothing. For you find that you. out first episode straight up. Um, yeah. So at least we know someone succeeded in this mission. But the question is, who and how? how? And it's amazing. It is good, isn't it? The journey. Yeah. It's such a journey that you go on. You've got ten episodes. First episode, mm-hmm. you see that the antagonist is dead and you have the next nine episodes finding out everyone who's ever known him as a reason to kill this prick. He is one of the best written bad characters you will ever see yeah. on TV ever in your life. And if you've ever been around this kind of man, it, it really is a, a male centered um personality because it's that whole you know it's it's a comedy the show is a comedy but it yeah. centers on a very um dark serious subject which is domestic violence oh. and somehow they have yeah. written this it may be really hard for some people to watch because it's you know it's a comedy um or it may be you know, hard for others to watch because it's about um, domestic violence. But somehow I think that they've both come together really, really well and they've written it really well, even though it's oh. such a, a, a touchy subject that's something that we would never laugh at. And it's not that we're ever laughing at the situation that is domestic violence. It's you watch this movie and you are enraged with his behaviour. Like, And you know so many men like this you do and that's why I think in a way they've made it that little bit light hearted in the sense is because every single day we are a lot of us every second person or maybe not every second this is not facts by the way don't at me haters um is living around somebody that may you know have these types of qualities because JP we've got a list here he is kind of represents, you know, he is abusive, he's a hypocrite, he's sexist, he shows nar- narcissistic tendency, tendencies, um, but to a point that it's like super, super heightened. Yeah. And it is also the, su- the kind of show that really makes you question around if it's actually okay to kill someone yeah. in the right circumstance. Yeah. And I know that that sounds really weird, but you have to hear us out or watch the show because yeah. you really, really want this man to dead. Die. You, you really do. 
You do. And it's not that he's like a very, like, evidently, like, he's not a monster like Jeffrey Dahmer. No. But even with Jeffrey Dahmer, you can see where it all went wrong for him and that he's just a pure psychopath. With JP, you don't ever feel sorry for him. You're not like, oh, hang on a minute. It's because your mum or dad, you see his dad's a dick, but everybody's dad's a dick pretty much. Mm-hmm. Soz, but yeah. m- most. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's the only time you kind of feel a tiny bit of him being a human being. Yes, yeah. Tiny but other than that, bit. you're like. But the joy, oh, the joy he gets from being so incredibly mean, is and manipulative. Yeah, I mean, he, the things he's done. He he's awful to his wife, and he's he's um, awful to. And he calls her mammy. Oh God, that. Absolutely, because and the thing is, it kills every woman in there. Like the four other sisters, it kills them that he calls them. Oh. He calls her. I mean, it's just so gross to call anyone it's that you're in love so with, mum or dad. Um, but <laughs> I mean, he's just so hideous that he <laughs> he yells at a child who has Down syndrome. <laughs> Tries to hug yeah. him. He spends his daughter's communion money. He is just. There are so many yeah. things that so many different types of people are going to watch this and just go, "Oh my god!" Like he, you know, what he does to the kitten, and you know, like there's. It, but it's all done in comic in, in comedic. You yeah, know, just when you're about to you- scream, you get these brilliant writing and actors, mostly from the 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 players around this person. Yeah. And you get to see how much we, are like, people put up with mm. this kind of abuse before you are pushed so far yeah. that you, I don't, I said to you when I was watching it, I don't know, uh, again, don't at me, I don't know how more women don't kill. Yeah. Narcissistic. Men. I don't either. I really don't. I'm, honestly, I've, it's, I've never, I've never I mean, understood it because we don't have jo- that in us. We just don't. No. Uh, well, but we don't you have know both why? Things. We're not. You know why? Because we're nurturing. We're just. Nu- I mean, men are as well, but we have a nurturing. You know, we birth things and we raise yeah. them. Yeah. Um, and that's why. It, and that's what I found really interesting in this storyline was that JP has so much love for himself. Yeah, that, that he'll do made anything. him act a certain way. But then you see the sisters who have so much love for their sister and they can see her drowning. She's becoming in every episode and there's a lot of flashbacks. So you watch this already frail woman get smaller and smaller. Like she's such a brilliant actress, yeah. the woman that plays Gracie, um, you know, because she, she really takes you there, doesn't she, with, mm. with her. Yeah, and if those of you who know... Um, what it's like to be around a narcissist or somebody that shows narcissistic tendencies, you have this uh, need to constantly want them to love yeah. you and their validation and their and you see Gracie do that. It doesn't yes. matter how many times mm, stop. JP, you know, will n- not, you know, give her the 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 affection she deserves or the, the valid, praise she deserves. Yeah. He'll just completely just bring her down but then just as you think that she's broken he'll pull her in and say that she's the queen but she is the queen of his house we should probably read out just in case people because i feel like a lot of people know what a narcissist they think they know what a narcissist is but some people just think if people talk about themselves a lot they're a narcissist or if they're Mm. you know but they don't actually know what a narcissist is Mm. so like a real full-on narcissist not just somebody that you think is one, because they're a bit of a dick sometimes. So narcissistic personality, this is from the Mayo Clinic. Narcissistic personality disorder is a mental condition in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships and a lack of empathy for others. Mm. But behind this mass of extreme confidence lies a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to the slightest criticism. Oh, yeah which is so huge. People with narcissistic personality disorder may generally be unhappy, disappointed when they're not given the special favours or admiration they believe that they deserve. So that's just like a little one in a nutshell. And the thing Mm. is they don't look any particular way. They're usually the people that you at least expect Mm. 
Well, and they're that charming. I find. They're very charming. They're the older so you get, charming. the more you can pick them out. And especially if, if you've been yeah. in a relationship, um, it's really important to understand that NPD is a medical. Uh, it's a mental illness um, yes. that can be treated, but the very, the very at the very core of narcissism is doesn't really allow you to get treatment because you don't think there's anything wrong you with don't. you. And that's no. such a catch-22 with that. That is such the hard one. We were talking about this off-air before where we were talking about how um, it would be so hard to be diagnosed as a narcissist compared to anything else that falls under the same kind of you know, category because you, like you said, would never admit to it. And the f- the fact that narcissism has such a negative, uh, you know, surround, like so much negativity surrounding it, you, it's like how do you go, oh, hi, my name's Angie Ken and I, I actually suffer from narcissism. Um, narcissism. Yeah, narcissism. Mm. Like you, you, you to even say that, mm. Well, yeah, like you said, you'd never admit to it because you're a narcissist. Yeah. But it, it comes with so much kind of hate that you'd be like, well, f-. yeah. Whereas if it's anything else, I'm not going to list them because last time I listed one thing, for example, people lost their minds. Um, you know that you can kind of get help and get medicated and you know kind of what's wrong or, or how you want to get better. Whereas narcissists don't because they are so nice uh, sometimes that. They will manipulate any situation to make you the one that yeah, uh, needs to say sorry. They are master uh, gaslighters. Manipulators. Yeah. yeah. Very good at the gaslighting. Um, the really My last relationship was with a narcissist. It was actually the first relationship I've ever had with one. And um, once I recognised it, I did stay in it for a little bit longer and try to, as you do as women, as we are just so inherently capable and incapable of doing you think that you can help them in some way and yeah. you, once I realized I couldn't help this person I left but not before I saw him have a child with another person um before he as a narcissist used the child as um you know, a value like they they only value children and relationships um, in it, as something that can meet their needs. Um, they yes. don't think of the child and what is best for the child. Um, I watched it firsthand. They don't think of their partners as someone that needs to be thought of. They really do lack empathy, and they only see themselves as the important part of the story and why can't yes. everyone else just see that and the, oh. the anger and that whole you know it, it was so frightening to me that I removed myself without I mean this is one of the first and only times not first one of the only times there has been a few where I've absolutely ghosted someone because there is no mm. There is absolutely no way you can explain to a narcissist that nah. you need to take care of yourself because they will somehow make that about you attacking them or why yep. have you done this to them. So there is no talking um, a narcissist through a lot of things. That was one thing I really had to learn in, you know, did a lot of reading about it, a yep. lot of talking to um, professionals about that kind of thing. Um there's one thing I'd like to say, if you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you need to leave because you... Also, though, that's not entirely true. You can stay with a narcissist, but you will never change them. Mm. You have to change the way you will forever respond to them. And if that's something that you want to take on, that is your choice. Because when I was dating a narcissist... I didn't know he was a narcissist until she, my therapist said you were dating a narcissist. You can choose whether or not you want to stay. If you do, because it's not my job to tell you what to do, mm. I will teach you how to respond to every single thing mm. he may do mm. to make to keep bringing you down to where mm. you are at now. Mm. You don't have to be this shell of a human you are now. I'll give you all the to- tools to kind of push it away Mm. and constantly fuel their ego but always to be able to protect your peace. And I was like, as soon as she said that to me, I went like this, no f***ing way. She's like, you will never change him. He will do Mm. this to you forever. He'll get all the therapy. You just have to completely 
um, change the way you respond uh, yeah. from here on out. You know, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing and that. And it was a choice that person. you made early on and, and and I did as well that, you know, there's some people who are only realising what narcissists um, are. You know, we're living in a world where mm. we're giving those kind of labels, medical labels to things and understanding these kind of things. There are people who have been married for over 30 years to one and might find it very difficult to leave. So, yeah, me saying just leave them, blah, 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 like but do maybe get some therapy for yourself in that. Um, clinical psychologist Angela Grace said um, you can't change a person with NPD or make them happy by loving them enough or by mm. changing yourself to meet their whims and desires. They will never be in tune with you, never empathic to your experiences and you will always feel empty after an interaction with them. The best yep. thing you can do, and this is coming from a clinical psychologist, the best thing you can do is cut ties offer them no explanation offer no second chance break up with them and offer no second third or fourth chances um that sounds extremely harsh and it is a really harsh thing to do if you can and you know someone if that you're in a relationship and you don't have any children that's something that you can do not easily but you can do and you can stick to if you have children with a narcissist mm. that is an incredibly almost impossible thing to do but remember that in a relationship you can co-parent with someone without having to yeah. have that relationship with them anymore well that's it you've got to protect your peace actually in the show notes let's leave that um who the, the doctor that yep. you just said i also have a lady who when i was going through uh, my breakup i don't know if i'm going to say her name right so i don't want to say it wrong dr Ren Romani, I think it is. And she's got a podcast called Navigating Narcissism and a really great YouTube channel, which we'll also put in the show notes. Um, and also another really good thing I did after I realized I was coming out of a narcissistic relationship is there's a Instagram page called Narcissist Recovery. And there's oh, so many good yeah. quotes on there. There's one quote I do want to read out to anybody, and this is not just dating a narcissist, is that abusers don't abuse every day. Abusers have good moments. Abusers have bad, have days where they do and say the right things. Mm. It can be confusing and give you hope. You have to remind yourself that it is an, it is an abuser having a good day. They are still an abuser. So true. Which really, like, made, like, that so really true. hit me because it's like they do have the best days and it wins you back over and you know that you, you love them and you want them mm -hmm. to be this person that you know they can be, but they're still an abuser and they're never going to change. Never. Um, so that's a sad one if you're dating a narcissist. I, I'm no pity. Like I'm not pitying you. I uh, have dated one and um, We're empathetic I'm pretty to sure <laughs> my father is one to yeah. some degree and I love him, right? He's my dad. I can't choose my dad and he's going to be in my life forever and that's my choice but I've learned how to respond mm -hmm. to his tantrums and his manipulation mm -hmm. um, now that I'm old enough yep. and my mum, you know, she stays in them. I was telling Evie a story actually but I, I, we don't really have time to share it but God, when I shared it with you, oh. you were like, Fuck, it's like the Next Aussie level. story. <laughs> yeah, it really was like the Aussie JP <laughs> Like it was yeah, such a like my similar dad's story. Not, my dad's nowhere near as JP. So when you watch yeah. it, please don't be like, oh, my God, poor Angie. <laughs> my dad's like a really mild version mm. of it. But the things That's he still there. did, yep. I was like, oh, my God, what so the damaging. F dude? Yeah. Like it's so damaging. Yeah. But I can laugh about it now because you know what? I've had heaps of therapy. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> but, yeah, seriously, watch um, Bad Sisters. And then once you've watched it, this is the only time Evie Jones will let you slide into her DMs. Yes, I will talk to you about Bad Sisters <laughs> any time of the day, all night. So slide away. I love a good sliding, especially when it's Irish. Oh. It's sliding. <laughs> oh, it makes us want to go to Ireland so bad and swim in that water, doesn't it? Oh, that was 40 English. foot. What about where it's set? Just mm. It's just worth watching for where it's set. I did not know Dublin had a coastal line and they have a place called Sandy Cove, which is where this particular show was shot. And they have that, that 40 foot is real. And oh. people really do. It's like um, the uh, icebergs um, people all around Australia that go swimming in the, you know, the winter time. Um, the Irish, they go swimming in this 
freezing cold water, but I don't know how just they do the whole it. place. How beautiful was that? Just the pubs I and want to the, stay in that house. All of it, just all of it. I want, I want to go, and I, I just want to immerse myself in the in the Garvey sisters world. You know, it's me made, really made me it's, want sisters. I know when you said that at the beginning, I was like, oh, and then at the end, I was like, oh, I would like to have sisters who love me so So much, much. even though I'm with the biggest piece of shit who's done the most questionable things to all the sisters, but we won't give it away. They still stood by their sister and loved her unconditionally. And that's what I bloody want. There's nothing like sisters, is there? It's the one thing that you and I both missed out on. So I probably why why we're so close. Yeah, we bonded over not having sisters and having similar relationships with our mum and mm-hmm. dad. My best um, friends, all of my top friends don't have sisters. Oh, really? Yep. See, most of mine all do. Mm, so that's weird. Yeah. There you go. There Something you go. to ponder. Ponder away. Pondering with Angie Ken and Evie Jones. That's what this <laughs> podcast should have been called. Hmm. Pondering. Hmm. Well, that's us right. for another week. That was, a great, that was a great chat. I am so glad that you finally got to watch that because I have been waiting for you. I know. And because sometimes with you, I'm like, oh, is it going to – like you're, you're usually right. But uh, mm. one time you've thrown me off, yeah. so I, I lost trust in you. Well, that's fair enough. Because you're a narcissist. Yep, no, I'm just enough. kidding. I gaslit you into watching something that was <laughs> – You gaslit me. <laughs> that was deeply average. And I was like, oh, f- she's lost it. She's lost this. No. She's lost me now, but you're back, baby. Yeah, you're back I'm full throttle. Back. throttle. I'm definitely Charlie's back. Angels. Yeah, thank you. Yay. Um, you can head to Apple Podcasts and rate and review the show. You can also get in touch with us directly by emailing the podcast at two girls at Nova Entertainment. Dot com.au or you can slide into Angie's DMs. She loves you. Um, don't do. forget to follow Nova Podcast officials on Instagram um, because there's lots of behind the scenes stuff. Um, not so much a bit lately because we haven't been putting up many socials and that's just because our social person is not in the office at the moment. So please forgive us. There will be more to come. I promise. Oh, we so love I didn't you. Know this information. Yes, we do love you. And, and we would like to say have, have the, the day, day that you, you deserve. deserve.